Hey guys, I'm Lisa. I'm a digital producer here at Dialay, and today we wanted to share some top considerations when taking a new website live. The first tip that we have is to make sure before your new website goes live that you run it through a speed test. So we'll often use a tool that is free to use called Lighthouse. What Lighthouse will do as well is give you feedback on the specific areas that you should look to improve before taking your new site live. We know that it's really exciting to get a new website live, but this will really help increase your performance when it goes live and make sure that it's smooth for users and for Google and your rankings. It will tell you whether or not it's website related that you need to optimize for, or it will tell you that it's on your server. So considering upgrading your server and its performance there. So that's a really top key point that we always do before we launch any site. Even if you're refreshing a website, that still applies. If you've used video, a lot of PNGs instead of JPEGs, or a lot, a lot of animations, that's gonna give you feedback on how heavy they're making your site. Our second tip is to ensure that your SEO metadata is applied to your site before you take it live. So that could be a range of areas, depending on how much SEO you're applying to your site or if you use a third party to do your SEO for you. At the bare bones we always recommend putting in a meta title and a meta description on each page and ensuring that the keywords that you've mapped for each of those pages are consistent and used throughout as well. Our third tip is uh, 301 redirects. So before you put your new beautiful site live you want to grab a site map of your current site and you can do this using online free tools or if you already have a site map you can grab it from there and what you want to do is ensure every URL on your old site is then redirected to the, the most relevant page on your new site. What this will do as well is it'll start to tell Google that your old site is no longer relevant and then start to index your new website's URLs, removing your old site. It also means that if you've got old URLs hanging around in offline collateral, in emails, that those URLs won't send users to a broken page and they're still going to have a really good experience and find the information that they want. Our fourth tip is checking all of your forms. You want to make sure that they're going through to the right emails that you've actually got the right email addresses added in there especially if you've been testing them and using a test email address and you also want to make sure that there's a reply going to the user who's submitting the form but also that the notification is coming through to you where relevant that a user has submitted a form as well if you have an e-commerce site that you're launching you want to also check your payments and make sure that they're coming through you can do a lot of free test activations on Shopify and WooCommerce to make sure that you're seeing the payment process go through and what file payments payments look like as well but really important for an e-commerce site that your payments are going through and then likewise with your shipping as well for e-commerce that all of that is adding up the costs are all showing as they should and working and connecting to your freight provider. Our fifth tip is to repeat that entire process again but after it's gone live. Sometimes things can go a little bit funny through the live process and also then you have your live forms, your live e-commerce and payment functionality and you're going to be seeing what users will be seeing so checking everything again just to make sure that it's absolutely 100% correct. So that's our top five tips when launching a new website or taking a refreshed website live. If you have any questions, absolutely let us know. Otherwise, good luck.